Hayden Tinto. Nice move by Tinto. Still on it. And for the one two. And out comes Grunebaum as Kerry Baptiste tried to make his move in on goal. Look at Joe Public right there, though, how they're blocking that quick exit. They don't want to allow Sean Francis to play through his feet coming out or Duncan Alton. In the last five minutes, they start coming into the game a little. Ooh. Ball first. The challenge there. Oh, nice ball here. Just a little too much on it, though. Yeah, late five. They said, I don't want to hear anything here. Right. Give me a free kick here. As you, Hoshide, was taken down. Hey, what's Hoshide? This is the tackle earlier. Right. That strong tackle. Jason Gary wasn't expecting that. There's the late continuation from Duncan Alton. So a free kick here in the 14th minute for Joe Public is Andy Grunebaum. Again, lining up his defense. Yu Hoshide is over it. Sends it into the box. The header well wide of the target, though. Uh, when you look at Columbus, what they've done well in these first 14, 15 minutes, they've played through the feet. A lot of contact through Ekpo, and he's been able to open up, take players on, get good crosses going, or relay through the midfield and get a hold of Mendoza or Graffiti. So they got that nice, dangerous three-prong attack. It's important to continue to keep those players in a rhythm and keep that attacking, imposing that attacking initiative. There's a look a little tug of war here <laughs> with the shirts. Carlisle Mitchell and Andres Mendoza getting tangled up. I can see Mendoza was pulling his arms away. Uh, pretty smart. Ekpo working on Goodrich. Looking for help. Oh, nice Beautiful. back heel pass. Beautiful. Absolutely. And here's Mendoza. Top of the box. Left-footed shot. But Not it's bad. right at Marvin Phillip. Not bad at all. And you can see disguising the uh, player doesn't really read which way he wants to cut. But again, a great entry pass. Good ingenuity from Ekbo to invent there. And impressive. Mendoza able to cut to his left and use the left foot on that shot. Here's Joe Public. Going to mount the attack. Burns breaks it up. Down the left, it's Graffiti. Still on it. Graffiti with a shot. Oh, just a little bit wide. Again, there's that stutter step and that pause, you know, with a hesitation as he's just stabbing the ball. And then a quick movement to pull on the inside. Watch this again. Mendoza at the top of the air. They really haven't had that player that can post with the back. You know, they have players that can get behind the defense, but I like this one. I like the movement. I like the move off the ball. Not a bad strike. Still this is nine on the ball for Joe Public. Gets it back. Good ball movement here by yeah. the crew. Excellent. And you see, it has good rhythm. And they know that the opponent is playing at one tempo. They're playing fast, and this is the player they want to push through. Ekpo down the road. Well defended, though. Throw in here near sideline for the crew. Duncan Otten will take it. Ekpo. Poor cross by him. There'll be a goal kick here for Joe Public. Uh, you see players not only the late arrival, a little bit dangerous on some of the tackles and dirty, but in these type of games, you have to hop four or five yards in the air just to protect your legs. Oh, we have to talk about the players on the bench. I think Hesmer is there, Carol Gavin, Andy Iro, Lennart, and of course, Guillermo Barras Esquiloto. I think we'll play well with uh, Mendoza, Graffiti, Ekpo, 
It looks like Carroll is sitting a little bit deeper, operating in that deep line midfield, just to relay out and look towards that right side. Ekpo, call for offside right in front of the linesman, really has no qualm or beef with that call. So it's it just a matter close. of getting back right. at this point. You know, he's not taking a look over his shoulder and seeing that snapshot of where the central defense is. Long ball here. As they look for Gason Gregory. But I think if you're Robert Vazia, you actually want to put a high pressure to recover the way that they just did. And really squeeze that back four of Joe Public. You Hoshide. You see lost the last, it. No, I'm sorry. The last two recoveries right here. They've recovered very easily. Coming up tomorrow here at FSC, our coverage of the CONCACAF Champions League group stage continues when Real Salt Lake play host to Toronto FC comes your way live 10 o'clock Eastern time right here on FSC. 19th minute, Columbus, Joe Public still scoreless here at Crew Stadium. John Hertz and Christopher Sullivan, happy to have you along with us here on FSC. Joe Public looking long here for Baptiste. Touch a little bit too heavy. Eric Bruner able to clear with the left foot. Graffiti brings it down. And Michael Lewis drawing the foul right there. There's another look. A little tug of the shirt. Yeah. yeah. I think he gets the benefit of the doubt, but a great explosive burst from Lewis. He's one of the, the talented attackers there. You know, he can score, he can find. He can break the pattern for them. Keon Goodrich a little too much in that long ball. And they're playing direct, but they're trying to also hit the diagonals. And the, the, the second ball is the one that you really have to be careful with Joe Public because there's a lot of speed. There's good open field players that can catch you on the counter. Marshall swings it to the left to Francis. Give me a space at the back here for the crew to build their attack from. There's Eric Bruner on the ball. Ekpo losing it. Joe Public looked to counter attack. Tinto. Nice cut from the left inside. Decent ball from Tinto. This is Michael Lewis working on Francis. Lewis still on it. Oh, nice move. But maybe held the ball a little too long. And there'll be a throw in far side here in the 21st minute for Joe Public. They take it quickly. Decent interception there by the crew. They look to spring the counterattack themselves. It was Moffitt. Mendoza. And it's cleared out by the Eastern Lions. Neither keeper severely tested so far in this one. Burns. Francis. Back to Kevin Burns. Otten has space on the right if they can find him. Bruner. Back to Chad Marshall. Sean Francis lets it go out. It'll be a throw in far sideline. Mendoza dropping back a little bit deep. Back the other way comes Michael Lewis. Here's that space. All right. 
He couldn't get it out of his feet. Uh, the longer that the crew keep possession, the easier it is to build out the structure.